here with another AI-based analysis for you. A few days ago, we shared such an analysis, and there we have shared an indicator based on artificial intelligence. So today, we'll share another analysis, just like this. AI stands for artificial intelligence. We are all familiar with this term and this thing is being used in Forex now. So in today's analysis, we will use some indicators and they are based on artificial intelligence. So no doubt you will get good feedback from these indicators. In today's video, we will discuss how to analyze, what indicators to use, and how to take an entry. Watch the video till the end. So as always, I am with you as an official member of Forex BD. I as I said, the analysis that we will share today is an AI-based analysis, that is, the indicators that we will use here are AI-based indicators. So at the beginning, let's see what indicators to use. To do today's analysis, we will use a total of three indicators and one of these three is an artificial intelligent based indicator. After setting them up, we will analyze with the help of them. So we come to the indicator option, then type machine learning and search. The indicator called machine learning KNN based strategy should be set up. This indicator gives us buy and sell signals through arrow symbols as you can see some red arrow symbols pointing downwards so you can understand that these are sell signals. Similarly blue arrow symbols are buy signals. Then we will use the second indicator and the name of our second indicator is the linear regression channel. I say again the linear regression channel. It needs to be set up. We have set up and you do the same because there are more indicators with the same name. So after setup we need to change the length. So we come to the length option and here we need to set up length 200. We have set it. We need to make a slight change in the setting option. You can see three lines in this indicator. There is a line in the middle and then there are two lines on either side and the lower one is called the support line and the upper one is called the resistance line. One thing to keep in mind is that when these lines are in an upward direction, you have to understand the market is in an uptrend. Again, when these lines are in downward direction, you have to understand the market is in a downtrend, so you can understand the market trend through this. Next we will set up the last indicator, and our indicator is called Neglected Volume by BGT. We have set up, but this indicator also needs to be set a bit. So we come to the setting option here in the length option, and we have to select the length 15. Then the option below it is called relative volume, and it has to be set up 10. Then you will come to style options. There is no difficult task here. Just remove the tick mark from all the options except the above one. Irix and it will complete the job. We have removed it. You must have seen how to set up all our indicators. Now it's time to analyze how to do the analysis. We have set up a total of three indicators. So we will take an entry using these three indicators. We can take entry from any position in the market and we can take a buy and sell entries. Then let's take a look at it without delay. How to take a buy entry. Taking a buy entry first, we have to wait for the blue arrow sign. Whenever you see a blue arrow sign in the market, then you do the rest of the analysis. So the first criterion is the blue arrow symbol. Then the second criterion is that the blue arrow symbol will be created below a candle and the closing of that candle must be above the middle line. Above the middle line. As you can see right here, there is a green candle with a blue arrow symbol below it and the candle ends above the line, so our criteria has been matched here. The next criterion is that the lines of the candle that we set up as the linear channel should be upward. And the last criteria is the histogram you can see below, that is, the volume you can see below this volume should be green, that is, the last volume should be green in color. If all these criteria are met, then you can definitely take a buy entry. 
Look at the market. As you can see here is an arrow symbol and it's pointing up. Then above the arrow, there is a green candle and its closing is above the middle line. So here our other criteria is met. Then if we look at the linear channel indicator, we can see it's pointing upwards. And lastly we see in the volume indicator at that time green volume is created. Then every criteria has been matched here. So entry can definitely be taken from here. And if we look at the next movement of the market, then we can see that the market has gone in an uptrend. Hope you have understood how to take an entry and how to analyze. Another thing is this way you can follow to take an entry. We will show that too. The same rules for taking a sell entry, but we have to follow the opposite way. Now we will wait for the red arrow sign. Here we can see a red colored arrow symbol and below the arrow, there has a red candle. The closing of this candle is below the middle line, then our first criteria is met. If the closing is not below the middle line, then this will be invalid. Then the lines of the linear channel indicator should be downward. If we look at the chart, we can see that the lines here are downward. And finally, if we look at the volume indicator, we can see that the color of the last volume of the volume indicator is red. So here, each of our criteria has met. So since all the criteria are matched here, you can definitely take an entry and you can take a sale entry from here. We have done the analysis. If we show the next movement of the market, then you can see that the market has gone downward. Anyway, this was today's analysis. I hope you will apply it and get good feedback. But how to take a buy entry? Taking a buy entry first, we have to wait for the blue arrow sign. Whenever you see a blue arrow sign in the market, then you do the rest of the analysis. So the first criterion is the blue arrow symbol. Then the second criterion is that the blue arrow symbol will be created below a candle and the closing of that candle must be above the middle line. I repeat that the candle should close above the middle line. As you can see right here, there is a green candle with a blue arrow symbol below it and the candle ends above the line. So our criteria has been matched here. The next criterion is that the lines of the candle that we set up as the linear channel should be upward. And the last criteria is the histogram you can see below. That is, the volume you can see below this volume should be green. That is, the last volume should be green in color. If all these criteria are met, then you can definitely take a buy entry. Look at the market. As you can see here is an arrow symbol and it's pointing up. Then above the arrow, there is a green candle and its closing is above the middle line. So here our other criteria is met. Then if we look at the linear channel indicator, we can see it's pointing upwards. And lastly we see in the volume indicator, at that time green volume is created, then every criteria has been matched here. So, entry can definitely be taken from here. We will make a request to you wherever you create an account broker house or payment gateway, you must use the ForexBD's link. This will keep your account safe at all times. You will be able to participate in any type of contest. You will have the opportunity to trade in zero pip spread. So be sure to account under the link given below. And if you like this video, don't forget to click the like button because your likes and comments give us confidence to do something better. And if you have any suggestions, you can leave a comment so that 4XBD can meet your needs all the time.